Curaçao, A, B, C. The three leeward islands of the Netherlands Antilles lie sheltered in the Caribbean Sea between North and South America, well placed for taking in the crude oil from Venezuela and refining it for shipment to the rest of the world. Islands are part of the Kingdom of the Netherlands, but they are self-governing, and a monument symbolizes their right to conduct their own affairs. On the cool side of the bridge, the windward side, the people of Willemstad cross from Punda to Otrubanda. So do the seamen, who find there is just as much fun on either side of the town. Curaçao has been a center of trade, a haven for the ships, the galleons and the schooners, the Spaniard, the Dutchman, the Frenchman and the Englishman making for port after their adventures on the high seas. the harbour is a sign of its prosperity, but it can be irritating too when the bridge is often kept open for half an hour on end.
Shipping traffic in the islands is heavier than in the port of London. The harbors can take the biggest tankers and cruising liners make frequent calls there. stands guard over the prosperity of which he was the founder. And so kwam Peter Stuyvesant meegevoerd door de treedwind naar Curaçao. Toen had hij nog zijn beide benen, maar in een oorlog op Sint Maarten tegen de Spanjaarden nam een kanonskogel zijn rechterbeen weg. In Stuyvesant College, the children learn about the days when the islands formed part of New Holland, where stubborn old Peter was governor and the capital, New Amsterdam, known today as New York. That nu geworden is tot het machtige New York, en als zodanig heeft hij zich grote faam verworven, omdat hij was een zeer energiek bestuurder die in de Amerikaanse historie nog altijd bekend staat als de stubborn, stiffnecked Pippa. The original inhabitants of the islands were the Cacaccio Indians. In the 16th century, the Spanish galleons appeared off the coast in their quest for cheap labor. A hundred years later came the Dutch, who fortified the islands and began to trade. the music of the island. The Divi Divi tree and the Carioca bus are equally typical of the landscape. In Aruba, the refinery workers use the carioca to get to the plant. islands abruptly into the activity of the 20th century and the islanders have played their full part in this sudden transformation. Thousands of workers ranging from high-grade technicians to simple laborers are needed to keep these vast plants serviced, maintained and up to date. Nature alone could not support so many people on the islands. The windmills do not pump enough water, and the supply is augmented by great factories that turn salt water into fresh.
shadow of the refineries, the ancient industries and skills remain. of oil has not reached Bonaire, and the flamingos that gave the island the name of Flamingo Island still nest there. Thousands of young birds start their long-legged flamingo lives on the salt flats. Bonaire is different, calm and undisturbed, with the broad salt pans reaching across the landscape. collected here for more than 200 years, and obelisks mark the old landing stages of the salt boats. are close. Agile divers gather conch shells from the ocean bed. Who heet bijvoorbeeld deze? Mijn vlees. En die hieronder? Die support. En die daarachter? Shell. En dan hebben we hier nog een op de grond liggen. Brand. The work of the Institute of Marine Biology enables it to advise on new methods of improving the catch of fish. <laughs> the floating market of Curaçao consists of schooners that ply to and fro between Venezuela and the island. The shops are filled with the merchandise of the world. Tourists and sailors throng the streets and buy and buy and buy. I think that's about, uh, oh no, I have to have it in pounds, you see, that's about uh, 30 pounds. Correct it for a I'll go back to the States and learn. Thank you. Progress has made its mark on the islands, and yet a donkey's skull still wards off the evil eye at harvest time.
many strands are woven together in the lives of these people, and, as always with islanders, it is the ships that mold their lives, their fortunes, and their music. Thank you.